Cool. Um, one question I, I also got to ask you is your relationship with Africa. Uh, so you have uh, in your past, in your family, um, you have African, African blood. Um, so how do you nurture that? And do you ever plan to come to Africa to know these continents? Uh, so are you in contact with the culture? Mm -hmm. So what's Absolutely. your relationship with I Africa? Definitely and African love culture? To, I definitely want to come to Africa. Um, what, I, what I know here, um, for those of us who have not been to Africa or don't know how we're going to get to Africa anytime soon to enjoy it, um, I think that a lot of our ancestral and the people that we praise all come from Africa here. Everybody's into Oshun, Yamaya. Everybody wants to know the history. I definitely, you know, praise Oshun. I definitely, um, you know, go into her teachings and different things like that. So that's how we kind of honor and get closer to African spirituality here because a lot of times, you know, we say slavery was not our history. That's, that's, that's American history. That's their history. That's not our history. So we're eager to learn what our history, what our faith, what our religion was before slavery. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think it's, it's very important for us to keep that because who do we ask that to? Who do we speak to? You know what I mean? Like my grandfather, literally, his his parents were slaves. So it's there's a there's a immediate disconnect in such a close part of our family tree. Like people think slavery happened fifty thousand years ago. That shit just happened, and people seem to forget that. And um, so I think it's it's a, and I know that in Africa you know, they probably look at us like, you don't want to know your history. If you wanted to know your history, you do it the right way. You know what I mean? So I know that there is a disconnect on both sides. And I think it's about honoring and respecting and asking the right people and just wanting to know your culture. I think there's nothing wrong with wanting to know your culture and wanting to know your history. And where do you see yourself in, in let's say, five or 10 years from now? Oh, I'm coming to Africa. No, I'm <laughs> I definitely see myself traveling. Um, me and my bestie are working on a business idea now that's going to allow us to not only help people in our communities, but across the world. And I think that in, in about five years, I will be traveling doing this. I want to be a public speaker. Even though I'm good communicating like this, I have to learn how to be confident to do this in front of the masses. You know what I mean? Um, I do see myself. I just want to travel the world. I want to see big communities. I want to see small communities. I want to do, I want to read cards across the world. My biggest thing right now is I want to go to the deep parts of Mexico because the next thing I want to learn is about herbs and um, healing and healing and medicine and using herbs to heal people and different things like that. So I'm on, I'm never at a point where I want to stop learning. Like I'm here and now I feel like I need to learn more because this is never ending. And that's how you grow once again. Yeah. So that's very wise of you. Uh, I have another, another final question to ask you, is that what made you say yes to this invitation from Freestyle Talks? Your energy. Your energy, just um, how professional you were when you, you know, when you messaged me and you reached out to me. I was honored. I was honored to connect across the world. Um, I was honored to know that you even, you know, watched long enough to want to know. And like I said, I've done what, you know, I've been in your seat. I've done interviews. I've, I've sat there. So I was, I was just so excited. I was so excited and I just, I don't know, it was a feeling. I just knew it was going to be great. <laughs> I'm very happy you said yes.